Waters. T Stat DVD. And welcome back. This is episode five of Talk Dot. Shoot. And I know if y'all tuning in right now, y'all saying, hold on one second. Something look a little different. And all that is is man, we trying to conquer the world. We trying to take over the world. So we in different locations right now, man. So yep. right wherever now, we at, wherever we at, we can get it in, man. We gotta make it work. We can make the thing do what it do, man. That's it. Start where you at right now. I ain't my I ain't Miami. You in what? I like. <laughs> I like in Broward. Right? <laughs> Get that right. Okay. okay I miss okay. this in Miami. That's not a Miami. It's like I catch myself off and you saying it, you know? And yeah, you know? But yeah, I ain't Broward right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's yeah, a vibe, yeah. You know, I, I in the studio in Atlanta, man. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah we be, and if they don't know, you know, we be multiple hey, places. Atlanta. Tell you that. Tallahassee. Miami, Broward. All over the world. All over the world. The Bahamas. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Straight up. How you feeling today, though? I feel good, man. You know, you always want to start off with some motivation. Yeah, man. You, you got to go. kick some knowledge. Keep it positive, man. Shoot. Today is nothing be the failure but a track. Someone mm-hmm. tell me today they had an idea for one. For three years then, you see, an idea. <laughs> no, but he, when you can start... You understand what I'm saying? Or are you afraid to you you afraid to fail? Mm. So if you don't yeah. start, then what you doing? That's a mode full right there. Nothing be the failure, but the try. Got to try. Got to try. Got to do what you got to do. You know. And I think a lot of times, like people, will see so much people's success, and they think that's where it start off for them. But they don't know how much failure, how much time these people and try so much things, and it ain't work out. But it's like. Bro, you could be wrong a hundred times, but if you write one time, mm-hmm. okay. And that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I could be I, the I game video, changer for you. Right. I watched a video the other day, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They say, Steph Curry, I don't even, I don't even want to say arguably no more. Yeah. Steph Curry is the best shooter in NBA history. I, I could tell you that, of course. I ain't seen nobody better than him yet. He shoot 40% from three point. Hold on, hold on. Understand what they saying now? I say he is the best shooter in NBA history. Yeah, he shoots forty percent from three point. And but you can't if anybody watching him play, they saying but you like forty percent, but that look like eighty percent. Forty percent, that's failing in school if you ask me. It, it asks you. That's what it is. <laughs> you, I think you got an F. You understand what I'm saying? Below but, average. So all the ten shots you hitting four. Mm-hmm. So out of 10 mm-hmm. tries, you're hitting four. But you're the greatest at what you just do. What that tell you? Keep trying. Mm-hmm. What if you never put up that shot? You miss. Mm-hmm. You done miss. You see what I'm saying? Nothing be the mm-hmm. failure but a try. Nothing. You got to go there like and this. get it. And tell you like this, shoot is shoot. <laughs> I always just tell my brethren, shoot is shoot. Shoot is shoot. <laughs> shoot that shot. Tell you that dog. Yeah, what? you just might score. What's the waste of carbon? You might score. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. But what if you don't shoot? Shoot, you ain't you in the miss? game. <laughs> you, you ain't even in the game. What is that? <laughs> you ain't even in the game. Yeah, well, sit down. Yeah, yeah keep but... sitting down. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a wild. That's a wild. So, you know, I, I, uh, so I don't know if you know. I mean, I know you know. Well, well, they had that big concert in the Bahamas last weekend. Ooh, your boy? Burner Shy-o. boy. Shayo. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You know, the show, was, the show was okay. The show was nice, but I heard a lot of complaints. Like I heard a lot of complaints about Burner Boy. See, I wasn't there myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I wasn't mm-hmm. there myself, but I heard a lot of complaints about Burner Boy itself. Not the show. The show was nice. I had all good remarks about the show. The performance was nice. The show was nice. Everything was nice on that part. Right. So when yeah. you say complaints, what you mean like people saying his show wasn't what they expected? Or no, they, like, they ain't mean? talking about the show. They talking about him. He got a problem. Got a problem with who? I think the better question was who he didn't have a problem with. The I'm talking about this is consistent. This ain't one person telling a story. This yeah, is people yeah. that don't even know one another telling a story. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember I saw the video when he came off the plane. Yeah. Right off the jet, yeah. and he walked straight into the sprinter bus like, like he mad. Now, mm. 
everyone was complaining from then. You know me, mm-hmm. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Just like Tua. Yeah. You was you write Tua off long time. <laughs> He's giving him the benefit of the doubt. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he come off the plane, off the jet mm-hmm. or whatever, and he go on the side, I say, but you know, people don't know he might have been jet lag. I know yeah. how it is traveling and stuff, but like you could be frustrated about something totally different, even though in a professional space, you can't let that alter. So yeah, I, before, I still don't man, give it so. right, but I, I'm yeah. trying to be a little bit understanding. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, but, yeah, of course. Every day ain't going to be peachy. No, every day don't be peachy. No, yeah. I heard you didn't know how to do interviewers. No, I don't, I don't have a problem with that because I don't know what the platform is with the interviewers. I don't know. I don't know. He probably feel like he already there. Sometimes, you know, like the big artist, they be like, but I don't even want to say the wrong thing. Now everyone take my words, misconstrue it, and flip it into whatever they want it to be. Right, right. So I, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So as far as the interview side is concerned, I, yeah. I understand. But I heard that he was rude to the promoters that brought him now. I don't know if you don't get into the to the to what they spent on him. What? And you got an attitude? Someone give me a ticket. I don't know if they know what a ticket is. Yeah. A M? A mill ticket. A meal ticket, a mill ticket, however you want to say it. I don't but know if I could have no attitude with them or be, no. you know, feel a way. You understand what I'm saying? Or treat a certain way. No. I don't know. That's one hmm. thing. Yeah. The lady didn't even want to take pictures with the fans. Now that yeah, right there, like guys have a problem with it. It's kind of like, bro, you know what you're getting yourself into, bro. Right. Like it ain't this ain't no surprise. It ain't like somebody spring this on you at the last minute. As, right. as a matter of fact, they had a prior date and they end up switching the date. Switching the date, Fox. So it's like you you knew this was coming twice, but right. two times over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of weird to me. Though. I hate, I don't I don't I like hate them. Him. Now see that right there. Yeah. I have the biggest problem with that. The, the yeah, promoter situation like too that. because they're the people I'm not giving you the check. They deserve the utmost respect because at the end of the day, they're taking a gamble. That's a real, That's right, real, real gamble, yo. That's you get what, what I'm saying? They taking and a you gotta, risk, you gotta, you gotta, You got to respect that. Like, yeah. You got to respect that, bro. Like, yeah. Win, lose, or draw, you getting your money. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. least you could do is give them respect, babe. The mm-hmm. least you could do is be respectful. You understand so what I'm saying? Could, and that, he and come off like fans. he ain't gonna get booked there no more. He ain't getting booked there no more. <laughs> he gotta come on sadness and say sorry. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, man. Or oh, you gotta come on talk that. What you say? Uh, hey, hey, we can fix it for you. We can fix it we for you right that. now. You know? That, yeah, if I don't, you need I don't it, like that story. I mean, if you can't anything but the Bahamas, you better come clean your face, though, because ain't nobody here what you got it. I don't even think they'll play none of your records and thing over there no more. I don't care how big it gets. That's just how it is. That's just how we the, is. One thing but the Bahamas, but you what? We don't lotion. We don't like mine. We don't lotion and we I don't like mine. Nah, so you know y'all know light sweat. <laughs> y'all know light sweat. He's so boo sweat. Boy the boy, boy the boy. From boy the boy, come off that plane and act stupid. Sweat. Get your big boy, You better get go big back bread. to in Africa, boy. You need to go back to Africa? You see what they said? What? <laughs> what you think, boy? What? But you don't like mine, boy. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. No, no, no. As no, a Bohemian, no. to be honest no. with you, as no. a Bohemian, I didn't appreciate that because no. I know, I know, the, I know the risk that they took and everything, and the fans itself. Like you know, for you mm. to the fans is who make us, right? Mm. Mm. But the fans, right? You know what I'm saying? If that's like a, that's like you having music. Everyone like, telling about calling you. Imagine if Amazon don't have no customers, <laughs> they, they they go to business. I, one thing with me, but I big customers. on customer service, but I big on customer service, big. dog. Because when you look at the most successful companies, that's what people brag about. Customer service. Look at Chick fil A them. I always- you rather wait in the Chick fil A line for 30 minutes than to go over to McDonald's or one of them because mm-hmm. you saying, but I just don't like their attitude. They got five star we in, restaurant. We uh, in the we in the south service. right now. Publix, Publix. So how much people rather shop at Publix than to go to any other supermarket because they just saying, but I like the way they make me feel when they walk in right, there, man. Right, right. Or you go into a bank. You go into a bank and they addressing you by your last name. Oh, Mr. Mister, yeah, what can I do for you? Like, you want some water while you're waiting? You want some refreshments? Like, you just feel presidential. Right. They make you feel mm-hmm. good about your day. Right. And once right. you feel good, you, you have a good day and then mm-hmm. you carry that abroad. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fox. Yeah, man. Like, babe. Fox. 
They big on that, dog. I, 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 I disappointed here and they wasn't even there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, he had to do some other stuff. And, right? It's just, I don't know. But you know what's crazy? Like, mm. This ain't the first time I heard. I Something heard, like that? Yeah, about him. But I, I, I can't make, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, I'm just going by the things that I've heard consistently now. This yeah. happened This happened in our backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I, I can believe. Type of way. Some type of way. I know what to believe from my backyard. I yeah. know what happened and what ain't really happened and who's saying this and who. I know mm-hmm. what happened. So, mm-hmm. you know, you got to you gotta be more, you got to be, you know, nothing is last forever, you know. I don't care how big you is, you know. See, that you got to be humble this. on your way up. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because when the t- whatever, what goes up, Comes down. Come down. Now on your on your if you if you if you stepping on everybody on your way up, you stepping on everybody. On, when you coming down, seeing people kick you, they can you in kick your you ass down. on your way down. You see what I'm saying? You stepping on them going up, they can kick you down. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Forget. bro. You know, you can't be like that, especially not the fans. No, no, especially no, no. not to the fans, but no people well, it's like, like hard earned money to come see you. You know, a like, switch, but you you gotta know when to turn that on and off. I, it's it's different when you catch them off guard, like you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, artists out with their family or right, in the airport, right. and no, they different. just been up all night. It's different. And this ain't the set, and they saying, "Man, I like, catch me on the next go around." But mm-hmm. it's like, but when you come there, once that you clean booked, line, exactly. yeah, boy, and yeah. you booked, you gotta be, you gotta From be the involved with, the, with everyone, the fans, with the, that you on the job at this point in time. It's exactly. in your personal time. From you lying there, you on the job, boy. So you could, I don't care. I was giving you the benefit of the joke with the jet lag. But mm. that, that shit didn't even matter. You on the that job is, now. That is like, boy, you in a foreign country. You don't know who, know who, and what goes what. Like, boy, this scene, I sure you don't got all your people with you. So, no. like, You travel with you a lot walk. of people, but that wasn't enough. But you got to tread lightly. Because mm-hmm. you, you could get... The wrong place in angry, and everything could go left from that. Obviously. Everything go left. Like, you got to be real mindful when you... And that ain't America. The bombers ain't America. So, no. things you could get away with in America, but the bombers is a totally different place. Totally like different. you say, but when they switch on you, but... It over. They ain't no coming back from that. So. You know, like... Okay. <laughs> switch. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a wide though. Man. Yeah. Speaking of big artists... Mm. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they got Drake next up. See you live. But hey, to see the flyer, but see Drake coming next to the Bombers. What? See what I'm saying? You know, like, feel like foreign currencies who bringing them too. Mm, the same mm. as they brought Burner Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I feel like. Shout out to them. Shout, shout out to foreign currencies. Shout man. out to them. I feel like they changing <laughs> the dynamic of, like, Shows in the Bahamas, the whole mm. dynamic of what to even expect and look out for. Like I, what you like, what you mean by that? Like the from a fans' perspective, mm. like who would ever thought Burner Boy would come to get Burner Boy? Drake mm. in the Bahamas, Drake, Drake, <laughs> Drake. Them no, no, no little shows. So no. this show have to be no. big. No, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but, the but like, check off on that one. But for when these things start happening, then our expectations are gonna be greater. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. They change the dynamic. You know, we they start That's bringing the these big artists. In, they start bringing these big artists back to back. Who this little boy is? I try to sit small. You understand what I'm saying? They could change the dynamic of the people, yeah. my friend, to expect more. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Think big. If you ain't gonna do nothing, do it big. Yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? If you sitting they down doing nothing, that. do that big. I got everything that. big. <laughs> yeah, come on. Or try. What'd you see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. That's a fuck, baby. Ain't no Drake is your dope. favorite artist. That's what I had to tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, baby. Shoot, he's great. Speaking of that, but you know, they say One Dance. He saw on One Dance just hit 3 billion plays on Spotify today. Whoa. I think 
that's only the seventh song in Spotify history to hit that mark. Wow. It's number seven, so. What? When you talk about the greatest. <laughs> no, he got it now. He's, he's doing, he be doing it now. Like, I take care of going he platinum. Him. No, not platinum. Take care of going diamond today, too. What? He yeah, going diamond. You. Yeah, take take care. That when you wear, I know that album, whenever, I know that take care album, but anytime you have people talk about their favorite Drake album, they take care. Take care. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I ain't surprised about mm-hmm. that at all. Like at all. I know we just didn't see a diamond record in a minute. Yeah, like it's yeah. been a minute. You'll see like diamond so. singles, but we just didn't see no diamond albums in a while. Bro. Right. And the last, yeah, diamond, the last singles diamond album I could remember was Shaggy. You know, Shaggy went diamond with Hot Shot. Oh, uh, what that is? It, what, it wasn't, it wasn't me, me and, uh, and yeah. Angel and yeah, yeah. Boy, that was a hot album. La Chica Bonita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice that album. I know the album talked about, and that was a dope album. That yeah, was a dope yeah, album. Yeah. That's the last one I could remember going diamond. Uh, Fifty Cent went diamond too. That was yeah, after that. Yeah, Get Richard Die. Get Richard Die trying. It ain't right. easy to do that. No, no, no. It ain't no. easy to do that. You got to be on the world stage to go diamond. Like I feel, you know. Yeah, that ain't no easy, that ain't no easy task, but yeah. yeah, yeah. You see, and I seen Kanye just drop. Yeah, you had a chance to listen to the album. I listened, to, I listened to it. Uh, some of it, most of it, most of it, most of it. What you had any songs with you? What stand out to you, or, or you like one? Uh, number? The, number one was okay. Who was it? Uh, what, you, you remember the name of it? Oh, what's this <laughs> name of the song? Man? I can't remember the name of the song, but I see one thing about me, mm. like. I like the, I like the rapping Kanye. I don't like none of that extra me stuff. Too. But it's me. me I too. don't like me none too. of that extra stuff. All I try and is trying. I don't like none of that. But when you see Kanye rap, yeah, yeah. that's what he I like. Undefeated. Like, no what? When he rap? rapping, like. oh lord, yeah. when he rap it over. I can't remember the song. I'm trying to remember the song name. Hold on. I can tell you what the song name right now. It's yeah. number one on the album though, and I like that song right there yeah. because of that. It's called Stars. Stars, okay. Mm-hmm. It's just him on that song. Or him it's him on that song. I mean, him and Tide all on every song, I think. But yeah, 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 he's yeah, rapping yeah. on that. Oh, I like okay, the okay, rapping okay, Kanye. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like the rapping Kanye and the business I li- Kanye. I like the um, I like Carnival. Mm-hmm. Carnival. Uh, let me see the next one. I think the next one is the one with his him and um, him and not. Him and uh, talking, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah, don't yeah. Bless me. Me. Hey, yes, bless me. Yeah. She slide on that. Yeah, she slide on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mm. like that, though. One thing I can say but North is like she real gifted and she's artistic, dog. I love right. that. I love kids that are like right. artistic. And she open with it, like, she ain't yeah. like, afraid to be like, it didn't yeah, come from a daddy like, doodle. Man, she bold Knocked with it. we say in the beginning of this, nothing be the yeah. fair, but to try. They could try. You understand she what I'm bold saying? with it from fashion to I even see her, she's draw. Mm-hmm. So to her now trying music, like she she know where her bloodline is and where she yeah. come from. Yeah. So yeah. she don't yeah. shy away from that though. Right. I, I right. really like that about her. Right. 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 And it's like unapologetic. Mm-hmm. I think she could be a bro. Once she get older, she could be reckoning like, babe. She could be a force to reckon because Kanye is like he don't hide nothing from her when it comes no, to the business. Too Kim nothing, either, nothing, Kim nothing, either, and you nothing. got two billionaire parents in their own right, and you getting to see them run their businesses on the day to day. Like, bro, I rate that. Like, yeah, me too. I think their businesses are being good hands. If no, I got anything to do right. with it. She's yeah. making me laugh how she did with the paparazzi too. <laughs> All of them like that. All of me. I see, we'll see the sun what? <laughs> That's what I say. All of them like that. I they see she walk. Up, I see she walk. Up, she walk at the restaurant one time, and I'm like, "Why are you guys always waiting on us?" Like, you know, she don't care. I like that. I like that. That's true. <laughs> but, and I but yeah, you, like, the, but hey, so I was in the club this past weekend, and they played at that carnival, right? That carnival, but that shit had the club on smash. Like, really? For what? They were singing like, go, 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 Kansas and she on the road. She riding in that carnival. I didn't uh, hear pop, but they singing that. It's like a chant song. If yeah, you yeah, had. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I had like, he had like some of the fans from, I think it's like one soccer team or whatever. Because you know Kanye had spent some time overseas across the pond, excuse mm. me, in Europe or whatnot. 
everyone thought he's just vacationing and hanging out, but it's not, he really was working on the album at that time. Yeah, right. So he must see they go on to like a soccer match or a football match, as they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they was doing like a chant, and this nigga just get inspiration from that and was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a con full of them, and they could come in the studio, and he created a chant for that. Like, right. I wouldn't be surprised to see them like chant that at upcoming events or right. whatnot. not. Right, like that'll be that'll be crazy. Right, it's on yeah, festival right? like, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, mm. you see, they out him to Rolling Loud too. Oh yeah, him and Ty Dollar Sign. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, Rolling, yeah. Rolling Loud usually be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They starting on the on Thursday now. Thursday could be Ty Dollar Sign and Kanye headlining. Oh yeah, so but you can see the effect of that. I definitely wow. try to catch that. If I don't go there and catch it in person, I'll watch it on YouTube. You think it's so, a... Hold on. See? <laughs> hold on, mate. What? <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something, but You're saying that... Okay, so they, so they added another show. Cause yeah, I, they I'm, added I'm, another date. <laughs> another date. I think, yeah. I think, I think Kanye them had some... Like, you don't think they had everything to do with that? They yeah, probably, Kanye... Like Kanye probably walk up the Rolling Loud and say, I won't be on it. And they say, all right, we can get you on Friday. No, nigga, I need my own day. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. That's why I, get, I say that to say this. You, don't think, you think Kanye is the most influential artist, a rapper right now? A hip-hop artist, I see. I don't want to see all that. I don't want to see. You know, but I just want Yes. Artists. Yes. Most influential. Yes. And I think that's the truth and it's scary at the same time. What you mean? I say that's the truth, and it's scary because, like, bro, you know, everyone, half of people think Kanye is a genius, and half people think he's crazy. Yeah. So it's kind of like when he do these things, and people are like, oh, this guy is crazy. He ain't got no sense, bro. And he do it, and it pawn out the way that he wanted to. I think that fuels his crazy. Right. So I don't think, <laughs> I, don't think I don't think you could be a genius without being crazy to yeah yeah to yeah yeah mod man mod yeah, scientist he's is. a mod scientist yeah but i know he's he, a mod. he's very calculated somebody yeah. somebody t- is talking to me and they they're like oh y'all everyone is giving all the prayers to kanye like he's not doing that as his team and this and that's so right like, nah, i don't believe that who put I, the I team that shit hold on all him. who put the team together me that's who, who said that <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott, hey, but i'm saying <laughs> Who put like, this shit together? The team put the team together? No, no. You no, understand no. what you, I'm saying? It take a coach. It take, it take a good come coach. Come on, man. So even yeah. if even if it's the team, mm-hmm. who put the team together? Yeah. You still have to give the person credit. He put the, the right team together. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, could yeah, tell yeah, me, yeah. oh, his team was who make him a billionaire. No, I don't believe that. I think you say he, he well thought out, but he well sporadic too. Yeah, but man. But that's... He, and that works in his favor for yes, him. So yes, it's kind of like... Yes. The yes. minute you tell Kanye no, some shit ain't possible, that's oh, when he Lord. say, oh, yeah? That's when he can make sure. Oh, yeah? And if you can't get it done, I can find somebody else to get it done. Right. <laughs> that's how he's right. killing. That's exactly right. how he's killing. Mm-hmm. That's him. So, like, that's him. bro, that's, that shit crazy. I and fuck see, with it, though. You see his uh, Super Bowl situation? Yeah, so first of all, that. like, hold on, with the Super Bowl, you know, what, you know what he did to the Super Bowl, right? I ain't talking about the commercial. You know what he yeah, did to the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did hear about that. What you talking about? Though? I think I know what you talking about. Tell me he, what you talking about. He, he got the suite right in front of Taylor Swift. <laughs> so like anytime they would show Taylor, they would have show him. They kick him out. <laughs> they kick <laughs> I like Kanye. <laughs> then they kick him out, but Kanye is something else, but Kanye is something else. But I see he had the Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. That's another thing for me, like, bro, I wouldn't know who Taylor Swift is, no offense, and they can take this however they want to take it, but I wouldn't know who she was if Kanye didn't do what he did when he did what he did. The black community, the whole <laughs> urban community wouldn't know. So she can say what she want or feel how she want, but, bro, I would, I still would have had no idea who she was if it wasn't for that moment. Me too. And to me, I feel like she kind of still living off of that moment. Yeah, she is. Like the victim type. And I hate that mentality. <laughs> I hate, I can't stand that. Me too. Me too. I hate anyone that. Me too. White, black, green, orange. I hate anybody that play victim their whole life. Like some some point you got to be you. Yeah. And do you. Yeah. Facts. But kudos Facts. to her, man. She doing a thing. 
Yeah. So you say Gandhi spent seven million dollars on on the thirty. And, and zero dollars on production because he looked like he recorded that video on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's saying he can see it somewhere. <laughs> All the money on the all the money on the slot and no money on production. This yeah. just picked up his phone, but it was eye capturing. I think, I think that's where marketing and promotion is headed to, mm. believe it or not. Mm. Where it's like it's not people don't like when something is like all dolled up and dressed up. People they like, like that, things to be excuse, what it is, natural, organic. Yeah, that right? that raw, organic. Like, for instance, anytime I go to purchase a product or whether it's Amazon or anything, guess what I'm going to check before I make my purchase? Look at that. The reviews. Fact. Let me see what everybody Fact. else who got it. Fact. Fact. <laughs> I want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Fact. If you got it already, tell me what you think of it. Right. I'm just looking at the five-star reviews. Fact. I want to see the, the, the people the who one. gave it a one star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that could tell me and uh, make me know if this is a purchase that I want to make. Right. Right. So I I think that's where marketing is headed in a step because uh, I don't know if you saw it too, but the guy um, the CEO was it the CEO is Mark Zuckerberg over at Facebook and Meta. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, you saw that video where he was like um, he was reviewing the um, the Apple what they call it? goggles Apple the Vision what right. is the Apple Vision right. Well, he was reviewing those compared to the meta version of those. Mm -hmm. And it was like, looking at it, it was his honest review. Right. And I feel like some people will look at that and say, well, uh, they'll base their decision on which one they should purchase off of that. But it was like, it wasn't dolled up. It was like he was just giving his honest review, saying why he felt like their product was better than the Apple version. Right, right. And that don't cost nothing. That's just that him cost, setting up right. a camera. Yeah. I mean, he might have paid for the Apple version. That's mm-hmm. about it. Right. But it's just like thirty five hundred. But you know what I'm saying. Aside from that, it's I just think the you, raw guy. Thinking of right. You think, but you know what that made me think of, dude. I can be what? honest with you, because I always what? like to think of like where where stuff probably came from. But you know mm-hmm. what? He didn't got a lot to do with that. Who the Trump, boy? Why well, is it a <laughs> Trump? Is he a Trump whole... supporter? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he's a Trump supporter, but what I'm saying is... Yeah. Tr- Trump in... Trump all organic. Like, it's like... not Everything used to be, like, put together first. So you we was yeah. used to that, like... <clears throat> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Reading off this script. Yeah. I don't think Trump ever had a script. In a way, you have a script saying, talking how he's talk, he don't have no script. <laughs> it is, it's just like, it is what it is. And I think that's why podcasts, yeah. um, you know what I'm saying? Like, people want to hear the real, like, people don't Unfiltered. want, people don't want, yeah, people don't want, people don't want that. Yeah, that's, I, like you said, I think that's why podcasts make it such a big run. Yes. It's like, nobody's sitting in front of a TV watching programming right. unless you like over a certain age and that's what you it, grew up on. Now it's like we want to see user base and pair to pair talking mm-hmm. and giving their feedback on mm-hmm. whatever it may be, mm-hmm. and that's so, why no, that's, that's, that's why that's I like true. I respect Stephen A. a lot, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think he understands Stephen both worlds. He understand it, he understand yeah, it, and he yeah. play the worlds. So that's mm-hmm. you know he, he up for the contract. Mm-hmm. They got to pay that money, you know. <laughs> like, who else we watching on ESPN? I can't bro, they really got. Even- Molly? They have to pay them on. They have to pay them on, pay them on. That man is yeah. ESPN. He like, he's keeping them relevant, you know. And if he leaves, whew, everybody's just going to follow him. I mean, now you know, they have the big budget. Money. They sponsor this. They sponsor that. They could be in people's yeah. face. But to say, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this is my go-to to watch somebody speak need, on something. It's like it's like your favorite TV show. You don't watch your favorite TV show if it ain't got your favorite actor on it. Here's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. how I go. That's how yeah. we go. No, but I I wanted to I wanted to touch on that Kanye situation though, with the with the with the with the from a business aspect. Shoot, we could go even even into more depth. You see what he end up doing like that? His commercial was to promote his website. Right, right. That's what you know. They launched the website. Mm-hmm. They paid seven million for the for the commercial. For the ad. Yeah, for the odds right. part. 
and then on production. They, <laughs> then they made nineteen point three, call it twenty million. Yeah. Right? And so that's nineteen point three revenue. Well like, right. If you minus the seven. Right. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like that's crazy. He 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 did that. The the stuff getting shipped out in four weeks. It was pre-orders, so he make all this money before anything is even made. That's another well, factor. Have to, have to but come you know, bro, and take it a step further than that. Mm-hmm. Everything on the website was priced the same amount. So you guess what? what? Yeah. What you think that do? I know what it do. Tell me what it do, that. It lets you know what's your most valuable product. Yeah, demand. It tells you where your demand at. What's, your, what's my what's my most valuable product? If I selling everything for the same price, and I ain't losing, no, I selling no. everything for the same price. Yeah, that lets me know. Okay, oh, okay, the easy shoes are y'all like the easy. I, I I got y'all, you know. I got y'all. I got you because everything the same price. That's dread. You know, that's smart. That's smart. Not on top of that. Yeah, everything shipping four weeks. You know what that mean? Yeah. Yeah. That means you you talking about he going and do a commercial. That seven million dollars is the last set of money he could spend on promotion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cause now we have now we have if everything was done online, now we have direct to consumer. That's marketing. That's I, say. I can that's send an email. But I can this boy could send an email blast. <laughs> now guess what? He got not listen, this nigga got everybody who bought something's address, phone number. An email. An email. <laughs> I, so. I smile me the food. Boy, listen, you have to smile. unscribe from this. <laughs> but every two minutes, you got mail. What? I ain't telling you. But no, on, like, top that, on top of that, on top of that, the two, 200 and something thousand people bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they spend the gold. So now you got to think of how many people went on the site. Yeah, yeah. And he could probably get those too. He can figure out how to target those too. Right. right. And and he can see where they came from. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the now he know where the do shows. Come on, bro. (laughs) Bro, that's a genius move, bro. bro. Like I don't I don't think people people realize what he do with that one though. Like I I thought that was a genius move, bro. Bro, That's genius. It ain't nothing less than genius. Ain't nothing less than genius at all. Like that's that's beyond genius to me. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, he he's not what? down, dog. Mm-hmm. He's some um, what? Can he now? Oh, can he now? Can he go on that phone again like the commercial? That's why he do, probably did that. That's probably why he did that commercial the way he did it too. Yeah. So that yeah, to yeah, get yeah. you accustomed to this is what you're gonna be seeing. That's this it. Don't cost me nothing, but I could put this on the platform for everyone to see it this mm-hmm. one time, and this is what I could be doing. My this how I could be doing my commercials from now on. It ain't gonna cost me a dollar. And I send these directly to you. I don't even have to go on the... I mean, if I don't want to, I don't even have to go on no big platform. I might just email them to you. I email you the commercial. Up. Straight up. Hey, this Straight Kanye up. West, the, the new Yeezy's dropping tomorrow. Blast. Boof. <laughs> Millions. All in Sell this off. Game. All in this game. <laughs> Dog, so imagine if he freaking priced some shoes on there. Or like, like you say, he do the shoes now. Like he do a drop with the shoes and he sent out that email blast. Oh my gosh. Two hundred dollar shoes, and you know what it is too. You know what it is too. Let me show you something with that. But marketing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know this from promoting. See, you could get flyers and do all these things. The flyer ain't gonna make someone to go to the show. You know, mm-hmm. you know what it's make people go to the show. What the repetitiveness of seeing things. They're like if you see things repeatedly, that's what it's make you. If I see this here. Hold on, they go on my phone. They see it there. I go to the store. I see the flyer. But this must be big. Eh? Guerrilla marketing. You see what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is. And then, so what what I'm going to say is, what I'm trying to say is, what that's going to do is, what you're trying to do is create Mm -hmm. word of mouth. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're Absolutely. doing whatever it takes to create Absolutely. word of mouth. Word of mouth is the biggest set of promotion. So now I got I got all these millions of people I'm going to send my stuff to. What you think half of them could do? But you see the new kind. You, hey, you got, you ain't, kind of don't be sending you the email. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You ain't got the email. Bro, look at these. These the new. Now you feel yeah. a part of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah, what I'm the saying? The whole process. Like, it's all, it's, it's genius, it. yo. You know, yeah. and like sometimes, me personally, I don't like to like look at people and complain about them when I don't understand. I be trying to learn. You end up complaining. You don't even know what's going on. I be trying yeah. to learn. You see what I'm saying? Let's learn. Yeah. By the time <laughs> you figure out, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's dope, dude. Yeah. yeah. So they, had, they had the NBA All-Star Weekend. How you felt about that? It was cool. I like mm-hmm. certain parts. I didn't like the Wait, listen to me, Jalen Brown. But you don't never come back to this dunk coach, <laughs> yeah? You don't never come back to this dunk coach. Stay in Boston. You see they see it? But you don't come back to this dunk coach, but But you were so still. But you, and what make me what make me the but you know what's so crazy? Hey, Dominique Wilkins, let me tell you something too, but you can see. See, let me show you something. He going to there and do this Dominique Wilkins dunk. He first of all, he look so bad doing it. No. And I feel like, and I feel like Dominique Wilkins felt like, oh yeah, somebody, somebody thinking of me. He started scoring him high for everything he was doing. You understand oh. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, bro, ain't nobody got no time for this month. Nobody got no time. His, his scores was way too high. He was never supposed to make it to that second round. You see what I'm saying? And then, like, that's mm-hmm. the one. That's what I didn't like. Now, what the boy named? Who went? Yeah. McCaw. I don't even know your name. I can't remember his name, man. I can't. I can't do this to him, though. I got. I got to pull up his name. I think he named McCaw or something like that. And I don't see so, him. I don't see him no no other time. But the don't go to don't. They don't they don't, say, don't get me bad. They say they uh, don't, Jaylen, don't get mad at Jaylen, me. Jalen Brown jump over Kai sitting down. <laughs> Kai, Kai, that only two foot. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You jump over Kai and he's sitting down. What you doing? <laughs> I see one. I see one man say, say, uh, say, Blake Griffin jump over Kia. Jalen Brown jump over Kai. Wait, love man. I see that way. Mark McClung. That's what he named. Uh, Mark McClung. Who he play for? I think he in the G League. You know? I think he's played for them. Yeah, he in the G League. He in the G League. How you getting the dunk contest to be in the G League? Because he's the only one with excitement. <laughs> they being real with you. And I think they put him up. I think what I think last year, they put him on the TM team, team mm-hmm. just for that time for him to do it, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. this year, I guess, like, because he win, he eligible. To, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> the dunk would have been if he wasn't in the dunk coat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, That's um, Steven, they say. Say, uh, um, LeBron is the reason why they don't go the way it is. What you mean? He say because hey, all the all the stars them pro- before him, mm-hmm. like they was in the dunk code and so forth. So with him not doing it, it caused all the other people them that you may want to see not uh, do it. I don't know I if mean, he should they... carry. I don't know if he should carry that much weight because, like, like they still expecting him to do that, but like, bro, I mean, put I, I guess it's night. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you don't want him to do everything. At some point, he got to catch the rest, dog. But I'm saying, like, what I do, what I got to do with what you do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say too. Like, like, like him on. You know that's what I'm do. saying. Oh, LeBron ain't do it, so I ain't gonna do. It. But who you is, but you like, you see what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's what I don't get with that whole thing with Stephen they saying or whatever. You see what I'm saying? I don't get that part of it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah but I don't get that part of it. I don't. That don't sit well with me. Like, but I, I guess I understand where he coming from because, I mean, you do have leaders. And you have followers, mm-hmm. and if you're the best player in the world, you're, you're, you're a leader, not even by choice. Mm-hmm. It's just what it is. You might not even want to lead, but you got to lead. Use the best. Like, who's supposed to lead? You know what I mean? So, but what I liked about the, the All Star Weekend is I like yeah. the three point competition. Yeah, with I Steph versus three. Sabrina. I like I like both, but that one, that one. I that one that was one. dope. I, I was love dope that. that. That was, that dope was like that. a good way for them to get the WNBA involved. Like I, I love stuff like that though. Mm-hmm. That that was real tight. Yeah. And she put up good numbers. Well, she put we up, always know like she, WNBA got shooters. Bro, they can shoot it. They can shoot. They can shoot. They can shoot. She put shoot up what what the, what the man was putting up. I think she put up like twenty six. And yeah, that's what yeah. everyone is putting up. She would have been tied. She'd been tied with the winner. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was and twenty six was the highest score 
in the three point competition with the men. Yeah. Yep. You know? Yep. And then, you know, yes. Steph Curry could be Steph Curry, so. What, what, that's that 40%. Hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, I think he shoot 80. <laughs> that night, but that boy is something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you think they could make, like, all star weekend better? Like, what's some things you think they could do to, you know what I'm saying? Like, switch it up. I thought the interactive court was. Bro, that's Genius. dope. Bro, that's dope. Bro, that shit threw dope. me off. You know bro, I love tech shit, so dope. I saw that. I was like, bro, that that's shit dope. hot. That's dope. Man, that was hot. I that like that, hot. dog. That was but hot. But how you feel like they could make the whole weekend and... You know what you know they what got you know to do? They need to start what? being cheap. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... I feel like... If they raise the... If they raise the... If they raise the ticket... Or they raise the... um, If they raise the... uh. Not the ticket, because people get the wrong sex and what they sent. Um, you talking about what they pay in the players? But they pay the players for like the dunk contest if they win. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know the prize, 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 the prize, yeah. the prize. Yeah. I feel as though if they if they up the prizes, yeah, then you will get more people to to do these of things course. or whatever. You know what I mean? Money so making. like, I'm sure the fans would love to see John Morant in the dunk contest. I didn't you know even see him the whole week. I Did think he, he hurt he... though. I think he hurt. Oh, okay. I know he's okay, injured, okay. but yeah, I see him on the cameos and stuff. But he, he injured. Yeah, him, I'm just saying though. Like, yeah, I'm sure fans would want to see just the just the thought of it. But even if he come out there and stink up the court on the dunk contest, <laughs> I know the fans would love like the anticipation for that would be so crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah. maybe they should go to them and be like, "Hey, what does it take?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even if I can give you everything, what it take? You give me an idea of what we dealing with, and we make a find some medium ground. Yeah. But I feel as though if they don't, if they don't, if they keep it the way it is, then you can keep getting these. I don't know. Media I don't know why Jalen Brown even tried it. I don't even know what's going <laughs> on. Like. I know that wasn't gonna be nothing from. I see him, the attempt. You know when he's trying to go up and he's like, oh, let me try it one more time. Like for I see that, I was like, no dog. No. He do the dunk Mm-mm. and he covers his eye when he touched the floor. A, a bomb out of bio got to stop. You know he got to stop his shit, big. <laughs> you what see bomb that? Say not? What bomb is it? <laughs> bomb tell him say Jalen Brown is the stinkiest player he ever got on the court. <laughs> I say, bro, what? Say the mustiest player. <laughs> Wait, what? You say that but me on national TV, but that's fighting words. But you gotta you see me, but that man. They can tell you that. You gotta see me, but that man. He's the what? Eat it out of it. And I see one. I saw how to do. I ain't gonna. I see that. I see one of the fans that make one comment say. See, he probably, he probably, yeah, uh, he was just left with the deodorant needle. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> hey. say he ain't got no left hand playing ball. They say, yeah. so they say he probably, yeah, he was left hand for the deodorant needle. <laughs> I'm stink. You know, they asked Shaq that question one time, too, you know. Yeah? Yeah, they asked oh, Shaq who, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who he say? It's a bonus. <laughs> uh, Vita's a bonus. That's the big, the big Serbian. I think from Serbia. <laughs> But what I was thinking, like, you know, I don't know if he's one of them, but you know, some of them don't bathe and things, so, or they yeah. bathe just water and use soap, no deodorant, because that's against what they're dealing with, so. Yeah. You not know, only so. that, not only that, they say, they stanches give them strength. Hey. <laughs> now, if he's one of them, you can smell him a block away, because he big. <laughs> he big. <laughs> he full of strength. Mm-hmm. I mean, he full of strength. <laughs> All right, boy, dude. Hey, what? I, I feel like they do your boy Kai Bod in a celebrity game, though. Boy, that was funny, but <laughs> that was funny because he's so hilarious to me, but like he going and make, he going to make he, <clears throat> that practice video and like, hey, you'll see so him walking serious? in. You'll like, see him walking in with Steph Curry. <laughs> hey, I watched him last night, but Kai say, Kai say, I feel like I was on my, on my, my player, but he walking in the game, but he, so he feel like he's any my player walking in him, Steph Curry into the building. He got this big cigar on, he fresh. He got the the, the the double button uh for kid go mate. Yeah. Dude, it looks so funny, mate. He just made me laugh, but hey, you see, he got he was an uncle no joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, complaining on seeing how them seeing making how them playing in the game and stuff. I don't see, yeah, I brought you in the fourth quarter to close out. He said, I played two minutes in the fourth quarter. <laughs> All right. Where Kai is in that way from? I think he is daddy Haitian and his mummy Trinidadian. Mm, where he grew up in New York? 
Yeah, he grew up in New York. Yeah. He grew up in New York. Mm. Cause I know I didn't see him. I I didn't see his. Uh, it's his, almost like what we were talking about earlier, you know. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. I only saw his success. I didn't see like where it came from. Like I didn't see him. I don't know if you know about him prior to this or. Yeah, I yeah. I I I saw like I'll watch any interviews when I see him. Like he's probably mm-hmm. my favorite streamer right now. Yeah, he's my favorite streamer too. From, 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 Excuse but I me, watch but. It. His bill was like he was like he was in college, going to school, and he was like he was just hitting it hard, hitting the ground running. Like mm-hmm. he said, but sometimes he'd be making videos. I think he started off with skits, and from skits mm-hmm. he transferred over to like the live streaming and, mm-hmm. and blogs or whatnot. So he said he, he used to be like in his dorm room editing videos and. He trying to get it uploaded before he got to get to class, and he mm. flicking, hitting upload, and by the time it's that done, he got to sprint over across campus to get to class and things. So it's like, just that will to win. Like he right. is like, but he ain't let nothing get in his way. was yeah. like wait this is what i could do right. and one thing i like about what kai i'm doing too is like it's showing the kids it's showing the youth like bro you don't have to be out here selling drugs you don't have to be a rapper Facts. you don't have to be an athlete Facts. like whatever Facts. you focused on mm-hmm. and you put your mind to it like bro that could you could that it. could be a ticket mm-hmm. up out of whatever situation you're in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i feel like and you know, kids love playing video games too. So he mm-hmm. just took his lifestyle and and made it his bread and butter. So mm-hmm. I rate that. Like that's that's dope to me, dog. So like, it, I feel like he's a great role model for the kids and yeah. showing them like another way of life. Right. Like, I could bro, agree with once that. Once again, you could just be that. yourself, and you could make money from it. That's it. <laughs> If Everyone, he's the go-to guy now. They mm-hmm. got him for the guy that when they try to promote music, they try to get movies going. They got him in All Star Weekend playing ball. He's like, I, I watched his stream a little bit last night, and he was talking about like, he's like, bro, we done broke into the sports arena. Like, this one mm-hmm. of the hottest fields to break in if you right. don't play sports. Fox. Like, nobody Fox. gonna respect Fox. you if you don't Fox. play sports in Fox. this arena, dog. So Fox. he's like, bro, you you know how much love I get from the sports community now. Like, mm-hmm. he just feel like he hit another level. I, feel, yeah. I, I think that's dope. That's dope. I think it's dope too. That's probably why he took it so serious, or act like he, yeah. you know, and did it so yeah. serious or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Valentine's Day just just passed. Yeah. Bob Marley movie drop. Oh yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch it. You you went to see it? it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw what's, it. what's your thoughts on it? Like initial thoughts? Would you watch it again? <laughs> That's a good question. See, see. Be- let me be honest with you. I could be straight up with you. Like, mm-hmm. like the acting was good, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really too much like the storyline uh, because I know a lot of the real story myself. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I, I don't think that they projected the real story the way that they should. Like, what, like, Bob Marley was pushing regardless of what he was doing. Peace outside pushing or peace. whatever. He was pushing yeah. a certain culture, a certain way yeah. of life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and I felt like like leaving leaving the theater, I didn't take all that in. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like like mm-hmm. I didn't like the message that he was trying to portray, mm-hmm. I felt as though it was totally missing in the movie per se. Like they showed mm-hmm. his music around. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this was just about But if they did show the music, the the message was in the music, so it's no way but around I- that really so if I'm going off just the title, the title was what? One Love, right? Right. So, well, I mean, the movie was named Bob Marley. The movie was Bob Marley? I thought it was One Love. I don't think the, the movie named Let One Love. Let me see. Let me look that up, bro. I think it named Bob Marley the movie. It probably did. Yeah, it say Bob Marley, One Love. So, we both yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah It was yeah, Bob yeah. Marley, One Love. Yeah. So, but I mean, when when I had a title without me seeing the movie, and I had a title, I instantly think of what he was spreading in his music. Right, right, and you, you know don't what I'm get saying? that like message at the, of, at the end of the at the end of the movie. 
You yeah. don't get that message. And I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. I just feel as though the movie yeah. was told through Rita eyes. Uh, what she felt as though is whatever. And it didn't really that's how I feel. Or yeah. how they wanted to be and the people that look at whatever. You know what I mean? But I don't but think they said story. the family was involved in this too, right? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I looked at, they said definitely the family was involved. Mm-hmm. That that was one of the main reasons the main character actually wanted to do the part because right. he felt like he wasn't deserving of the part because I think Bob was like what five five or five three or something like that. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. You sure? And the, and the guy is actually six three who was playing him in the movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he felt like, babe, why they want me to do it? Like, yeah. But he was like, after he found out the family was involved, he was like, well. If they picking me, then it's right, right. something that they see in me right, to right. do this well. You know, sometimes right. that's the imposter syndrome too. Like. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. But yeah, I, I think I definitely still could go watch the movie and then And I spoke to a lot of I spoke to a lot of Jamaicans after that, like who really know the whole and they say the movie was BS. Oh man, I don't yeah. like that. That's what they say. They say the movie was BS. There's a lot of things that wasn't told and what was told wasn't told the uh, right way. You know what Do you think with sometimes like where the message with Bob was putting into the world? Yeah. I felt as though we should have had that message, and that's when we left the movie, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yo, it shouldn't have course, been like I understand ain't nobody perfect, but and no one lives the same lifestyle. Everyone no. lives or everyone have cliche to be. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. I don't want to talk about that part of it. I want to talk about the music and what he and the message that he was portraying. To the to the world. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the and thing like, we love about him. Exactly. And it's like mm. it's like I didn't Get, I didn't get that leaving the movie. You know well, do, do you think like, you know, sometimes movies can be a little more sensationalized as they, they call it? Right. You know, just for theatrics to make that's it what more it is, dramatic? And that's what, right. And see, and, and that's the thing. Yeah. Because you got this universal appeal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I understand yeah. that part, but I feel as though like certain, like, Certain marks needed to be hit. Boy, certain marks got to be hit. We could do yeah. all this. We could do yeah, all yeah, this yeah. in between. Mm-hmm. Certain mm-hmm. marks got to get hit, bro. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. tell the real, real story. Like, you know, I know some of the, I know some of the songs that where they came from, and all this extra stuff that's public knowledge, and they made it seem as though it came from other places, and it's just. It's, but maybe if I watch the movie, movie, that's. Yeah, if I watch in the movie, that's what I want to see. I want right. to see stuff like show me him making one love. Right. And them coming up with, you know, his biggest hits. Like, I want right. to see that. Right, they show that. They show that. And, but, you know, like, I know he wrote a couple of songs for Cindy. You know? Cindy, Cindy is user. Damien, is Junior Gong. Mummy. Mummy. Okay, okay, okay. Turn yeah. your lights down low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's, okay, yeah. he write that for her. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, Rita, Rita didn't want to sing it. Oh. Because... You know, she was the backup singer, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I'm yeah. saying is, these they show these things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Show the real. You mm-hmm. know, so that's why I feel as though, like, you know, they probably wanted to portray it out. You know, Rita wanted the people. And I don't know. I could be wrong, too. But yeah, that's what I get from the movie. That's your impression. I'm missing the message, bro. Like, we supposed to know. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's like, a, yeah. I feel like, you know. Like we supposed to they touch more on the roster, touch more on what he really was trying to, what he really was showing the world and stuff. Touch more on what happened with his bond. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Why did Peter Torch and them leave? Like, yeah, you yeah. Touch more on these things. Why Bunny modded him? Why Bunny was modded? Like, touch on these. Show the real, real. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, like I say, the acting was good. Mm-hmm. If if you. See, I can't even want to say that because I want people to know the real. But it's a okay, mo- it's a good movie to watch. It's yeah. because I know a little bit of the real. Oh, okay, yeah, you feel some type of way. I feel some type of way about it. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not too, you know, I'm not too hype about it because I feel as though it was kind of fabricated. Mm-hmm. Now you understand they may fabricate it for the general public per se, but yeah, that's the reason why I didn't too much. Like it like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, but I watch it again, and maybe maybe I would watch it one more time just to see if maybe Still I didn't feel pick the same up on way. yeah, maybe I didn't pick up on certain things that I should have picked up on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who knows? You know? 
Yeah, I still I still go check it out too though. Yeah, man, you gotta give it a chance because you might see yeah. something what you could tell me. Mm-hmm. I ain't want to knock people up and say, oh, y'all don't go watch that movie. That no, 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 no. We ain't gonna get into all of that. We ain't doing mm-hmm. that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing mm-hmm. that at all. You know, we ain't doing that at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm about to do. Yeah. That's too. That's, that's great, though. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, not this episode, because we about to close this out in a little bit. Mm-hmm. But um, on in a very few, one of the next episodes, yeah. we can tap into the Bohemian culture, because we can get back to where we started. Let me get back to where we started off in this podcast today. Yeah, we're talking about got? the Burner Boy and the Spilly Gate situation yeah. in Nassau. Mm. Let me tell you one of the things that I admire the most. And anybody mm. that knew me when we was doing Boy, I always had behem- or any artist that ever performed was a Bohemian artist. Now, most of them was DBD or affiliated, mm. but mm. they were Bohemian artists, you know. And with Spilly Gate, you know, they had a lot of the local talents that opened up. Uh, on a platform, that. that's on a platform like that, you understand that's what dope. I'm saying? I feel like that's I feel dope. like that should be continued. Like you, they should continue doing that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like imagine, imagine you as an artist and you coming up and because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we, we got to make portfolios and resumes as artists. What they call them? E E K E P Ks E P Ks Electronic Press Kits. Right. So now like you that's say like you your open resume. Up for these people. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now yeah. you can say you open up for Burner Boy. And yeah, that's e- big. E- e- that's huge. You, you open up for Drake. Yeah, that's big. That's big for your portfolio. You understand what I'm saying? So, like th- things like that. Like I admire things like that, and I f- and I wish like it, it could continue. Like, mm-hmm. and we should we should start. Um, I and I think that's what I'm saying, bro. Like I love what they're doing. I love what foreign, foreign currency doing, and mm-hmm. I feel as though like they're changing the dynamic and the mindset of the people in back home. Because if you could do that on a scale like that and put these artists on that. On that on that show, you know, like that that could change their mindset, you know. Yeah, and that they could change in... the view from the fans yeah. because you see the sorry boy thing. Sorry boy yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess was gonna mention that. <laughs> Shout out to Sawyer your boy, man. Yeah, Shout out to Sawyer your boy. <laughs> Sawyer your boy, boy TV, man. <laughs> yeah, I see. Share, I see. Share one real from us already. Yeah, man. man. What? It's all love. Mm-hmm. Anybody wants you Bohemian and you're doing your thing, but you can support the thing, but you always, yeah. oh, always. <laughs> so your boy say So your boy say man We gotta show more love To the Bohemian artists man So your boy say man We gotta show more love To the Bohemian artists Right right And that's what I wanna get into That's what I was about to say Like that's why I brought it back To the beginning <laughs> And that's yeah. what we gonna We gonna start Speaking on Bohemian artists And so forth too We always mm-hmm. had that inside of, But we just wanted to get A rhythm and everything Getting them on interviews. We're going to pay yeah. listen to me. Y'all tap in. Y'all yeah. tap in. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Y'all send us a in. DM, shoot us a email, text, whatever, man. Yeah, we doing however interviews it means. all day. You know, we yeah, didn't, straight we didn't, up. We didn't, get this, we didn't get the ball rolling. This is the fifth yeah. episode. Yeah. So from here on out, we're going to start doing interviews and so forth. You a promoter, an artist, you know, videographer, all yeah. of that. Tap in. Tap in. We can hey. schedule it out. DJs. Y'all tap hey. in, man. And not even exactly. just Bohemian. You don't even got to be Bohemian to come no. on this podcast, bro. What, whatever field you in, whether you in the States or, shoot, if you in Africa, Asia, wherever you are in the world and you feel like there's a platform you want to come and speak on, man, we, hey, we open here. dialogue. This, yep. We here. We here. Come, tap, tap in, in with us. Let's do it. Tap in. Mm-hmm. And Bohemian, uh, and I, 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 the world too, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, no. you know, uh, I feel like, we have so much talent yeah. that just didn't cross over yet. Like just just a missing piece. Even the even mm. like these even like the comedians. Mm. Like it's like this, it's like we here, but it's like it's like another step that we could it's something in the way. That's another Going step. abroad. That's that's like you know I always say like but how I didn't appreciate what the Bahamas had to offer until I went other places right, or until I go right, to school. Like right. I growing up every day the beach right there. I could go on the sea whenever I want to. But when you go to a city and you gotta drive three hours to get to the nearest beach, you say, but 
some I, I I don't know what to do with myself. Like this, this feel weird. This right. how you even live around. Right. <laughs> so, so it's like, yeah, man. Like, but I think the artist got to realize, like, bro, it's more than just the Bahamas, but yeah. Don't think yes. that's the ceiling, buddy. That's, that's just scratching the surface, all bro. All people dealing with entertainment need to know that. Yes. Yes. Because they saw they had especially the like, I want to bring that up to you too, you know. Go ahead. Say what you're saying. But I was saying, especially like in the music world, like I see artists, you know what I'm saying? They fighting for, to be the top uh, Bahamas artist. But it's like, bro, in the Bahamas, we only got 250,000 people. Right. If everyone in the Bahamas listen to your music, you, you still it. can you can't even go gold, bro. You won't go on gold. You won't blast So it. you have to reach outside of that and find a way to touch the masses. Right. Fox. It's and all Fox. And that's in y'all all gotta, areas of entertainment. Fox. Y'all got to do your thing on the music and then everyone else on the other side as far as having the outlets, which is why we create platforms like this so that y'all have outlets to touch outside of that. Right. Right, and that's what we exactly. Boy, you best put that into perspective, good to know. Yeah, we, we, that's we what just I, that's bridging what the I gap. It, right, exactly. We bridging just bridging the, gap. the gap. Yeah, they saw they had this this talk. They, they was talking on, um, on the internet on Facebook you know, about mm. uh, DJs. Yeah. Somebody made a comment and it was like, "Oh, when I go other places, you know, um, that they 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 play different music like Bahamians DJs. Them they just stuck on, on whatever heart, whatever heart at the time and so forth or whatever. And it's like cliche music or whatever, you know. Yeah, you know. And I I see some people that making remarks saying. You know, DJs that making remarks or whatever. My whole take on that was, I ain't no DJ, and I know it's difficult to be on stage. So we can start with that. That takes yeah. a lot. It takes craft. Yeah. It takes work. Mm-hmm. It takes nerve. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It takes mm-hmm. a lot. So I ain't even going to knock that part of it, you know, to even say, like, oh, whatever, you know? But I've been on the stage as an artist, so I mm-hmm. know the stuff in, the stuff in easy, and to keep things going, to keep the crowd involved and do all these things, I know the thing ain't easy, but what I'm saying is, <clears throat> first of all, when you have someone saying making a statement like that, my yeah. take on it is don't just go in your feelings off rip. No, no, no. You gotta see things from both sides. Right. See things even yeah. if they even if they angle it a certain way. Like all yeah. you feel is they're like, but he sound like he hating or something like that. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? No. Mm-hmm. Just think think of it like, boy, maybe we could. Maybe we could take this to another level, you know. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I and I always um the reason why I said it is because I when I, I when I watch overdose group, you know, he he, yeah. he be outside of the Bahamas right now. He humble as hell. Yeah. He yeah. real humble. Don't get me wrong. He really he reminds me. I tell him the other day I sent him a message. Yes, I sent him a message and you know you know who overdoses remind me of? Who the Steph Curry. Mm. They just do That's whatever and act like they ain't do nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just throw they, the they, ball. They, boom. Mm-hmm. Swish. Whatever. whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so, like, what I tell them is, like, all right, watch this. <clears throat> I remember two times overdose going viral. And they bringing mm-hmm. him up because because he went outside of the Bahamas. And I'm saying yeah, he, he there's certain things that you have to do to yeah. do these things. You yeah. can't do what everybody else doing to do mm-hmm. these things. You mm-hmm. have to find a way to say, okay, I can see how I can set the bar different. Now. It could be hit or miss. Don't get me wrong because you're gambling. Mm-hmm. But no risk, no reward. Now, if you just don't play Fox. safe, if you just don't play safe, you could be in a safe spot. That's cool. Maybe that's what you want. But if you want to go above that, you know, so I, I bring up the two viral moments. Like one time when he doing that cl- from that classical, a classical beat, whatever, to the, to the Skilly Bank song, Crocodile T. Mm. Man, yeah, I see a girl. Yeah, I see yeah, a girl. Yeah, in the, yeah. I still have the video on my phone. I see the girl in the audience. She like, mm. ah, like she ready to play so <laughs> crying with this mix. And I can show you this, bro. You yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah, she ready to play so oh, crying. That. You know, and then another time when he did the original Who I Smoke record, what was the original song to Who I Smoke? Um, thing of, and I, I need you. The, I think he did, I think he did something. A thousand like, Miles, a, Thousand Miles, that's the name of the song. And I think he did some mix like that and then brought yeah. in that, whatever. 
And like yeah. those things went viral. So I'm saying like you have to like try to you gotta study and then you gotta try to put it into play. And that's yeah. the only way you can get in now if you notice, I mean if you you know Overdose is one of the biggest DJs right now. Yeah. But in our in our genres of music, because you know you got yeah. all kind of different genres of music and then I need DJs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you'd be surprised, like them EDM or them and stuff, these DJs, them so huge. <laughs> like, you understand? But yeah. in our market, per se, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like he is he is that dude. And I feel as though like the things him treading, him trying that him trying to be out the box, him trying to get out that's what put him out the box. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta you gotta you know what I'm saying? You gotta mm-hmm. work do work out the box to be out the box. Or you could be in the box. That's a safe place. The box mm-hmm. is a safe place. If you wanna stay safe, other than that you gotta try to you know hit the marks outside the hit box. The marks outside the box. Cause that's the only ones where you gotta change change the whole regime. Mm-hmm. You gotta make marks on the on the on the music business or whatever business it is because those are the ones that people are gonna remember. Right. If you just doing the same thing with everyone else but doing, they just chuck you up as another nigga. Yeah, that's and it. If you come in and you doing what they doing, and let's take for for instance, Boss Man D'Lo right now. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He that's coming with something is it's a little different, like. It's what we used to, but it's like a remix on it. It's so like we like, remix. oh, we like, like this. Cadence. Yeah, it's yeah. cadence. It's it's I a saw, refreshing feeling. You know the big and, and I and I know and I just I just share one of his posts today. I was supposed to him on like a I don't know what it was like. It looked like off the porch, but I don't know if that was off the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, no, no, no. Off the not off the porch. Um, from my I, block. Oh, from my block. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's what it, oh, my bad. Off that's the block. What, that's exactly like what that. I meant. No, off the porch yeah. is the interview. My bad. I, yeah. I, that's what yeah, I meant yeah. from the block. <laughs> my bad. My my apologies. But like, yeah. yeah. Shout out to off the porch and from the block. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for so, sure. Uh, from the block. Because you did business with them already. Both of them. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, Sucks. but like, yeah. So, um, from the block, like I saw that, I saw that, that boss man, D-Lo and, you know, it's, he got the biggest record out right now. Mm-hmm. Come, get him, get in with me. Yeah. And when I saw he used the flow on another beat, and it sound good, I say, "Oh Lord, he is over. It's over. <laughs> I know how it go. It over. It over. Oh the hell! It, it, he got a refreshing sound. Yeah. He got yeah, a refre- yeah. I, I tell, I tell, I tell people like he, he really remind me of Ross. You know, I don't know what lean he could take and what how he could shoot off, but he's remind me of Ross. Like when yeah. Ross first came out, like how yeah. he used to, um." He's a cut the bar in half. Yeah. Started on a... Now we on a... <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? But he had a different cadence. Yeah. Like, with the melody, the melody part of it is like the same. Mm-hmm. But the, your boy will do it more on an animated today mm-hmm. type yeah, of yeah, vibe. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It kind of remind so, me of like how they, the, the Detroit rappers do. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, uh-huh. but, like like right. you say, cut the bar off and then come right back to come it. Come right back. Wait. Shout yeah, but Ross, Ross had that confidence too when he coming again, though. That, this nigga confidence was different. Ross, he, used to that's be the, he was saying he was the boss and he wasn't no boss yet. He was, though. He had to be. He was in his mind. Speak yourself in I, existence, I, 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 I used to go back and watch Ross old interviews. He had one, <laughs> one of Ross interview is my favorite interview. Yeah. One of my favorite interviews. When he sit down in True Magazine, you don't know that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, that. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. It was on his way, yeah, but he had a lot of confidence, like you say, though. Yeah, no. He had a lot of confidence. I like, I got models with mouths. That's motivation. <laughs> they motivating me. Sometimes they I just me. go on Ross page, just to have him talk, dog. Just to him talk. You see him walking by? <laughs> him, him and Khaled, dog, they just do it for me. Anytime I'm looking for motivation, I go on they two pages, dog. Fox, Fox, Fox. And they just put me where I need to be, dog. Like, <laughs> Shout out to Ross. Shout out to Miami Dade County three hundred five and my yeah yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where it started. Yeah, man. This is this is dope, man. A dope episode. Yeah, dog. Shoot, we, we, we cover right a lot of things. This one, dog. Hey, but like, like you say, though, listen to me, listen to me, uh, and listen to me, good, y'all. Top in. Yeah. All right. For sure. Y'all for top sure. In all y'all artists, promoters, we get, DJs, get on that, set us the actors, DL. comedians, influencers. Top Bridging that end. gap. Let's do it. We're going up. 
Yeah, man. We out. This episode five is Willie Waters. T-Stat DBD. Talk that. Boop. Thank you.